please put all wet food in the garbage disposal. I am sensitive to the smell of rotting food. Don't let the same dog bite you twice. What did you do with my sunglasses? Put your bags inside. Now, I know you all wake up every morning and you brush your teeth, hopefully. You drink your coffee, you smoke your cigarettes, you put on your little leotard, and you come to audition. You come to work. But what makes today the day that you book? What makes today more than just a job, more than just your stupid little dancer's life playing out in a loop? Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, four and five, five and six, six seven, seven and eight. eight. So focus on your vision, your whole life decision, what you got plans for? Your passion and soul, cashed out of soul, left in front door. So you move forth and back, back to forth, drop the low and take it slow, baby, take it slow. Baby, you're confused with a stick of dynamite and about to blow. Sticking in my mind at times, sometimes I let it flow. I let it flow. I let it flow. Athena, how long have you been auditioning for me? Six years. Six years? So I'm gonna ask you one last time, how bad do you want this? Max, you know Shut up. That I... More than your family. Yes. More than your friends. What friends? All right, you can go. Choke me. Tell me who Jack is first. Jack? Jack is my father, okay? He drunk dials me sometimes. Prove it. I really don't feel like talking to him right now. It's because you're a liar. I only lied about being an actress. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And a kindergarten teacher, so. Track record's not great. Okay, you want me to prove it to you? Fine. Fine, let's see what Jack, my father, has to say. Athena, All right. I, I, I get it. Wisdom. Is daddy, King Jack, the Duke of Soul. 
I need you to come to Florida as soon as possible. Big news. I have cancer. me get smaller it's just you uh, honey Athena come here come on I got it I got it well pink yeah, it's been people long. You really? know that. You haven't visited me in three years. What do you think? So how's the dancing going? Huh? Mm. Hey, I hear that all the young girls are shaving off all their cabbage these days. Is that true? Cabbage has kids! Well, I'm not all the young girls, so how am I supposed to know? Well, what about you? You going bald eagle now or what? No. No? Because they say that, that, that you, you, just, well, you feel things better because of the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the nerve endings. Yeah. The nerve endings. Yeah, that's what they're saying. If you want everyone to know you have a small Johnson, drive that car! Really good. 60 years old, 6 feet, 193 pounds, no history of cancer, no history of heart disease, no history of anything aside from cataract surgery in 2008 and high cholesterol. See, honey bunny, except for the cancer, I'm in perfect health. Oh, uh, oh, uh, pay attention. Doctor's gonna show us a picture of daddy's lungs and we're gonna see what cancer looks like. Ooh. Based on PET scan, CAT scan, and biopsy to date, we have determined that the tumors are spreading from your lungs to your lymph nodes, which is typically a precursor for spreading to the brain. Wait, what? Why are you taking notes? What do you think, he's gonna give you a test after? Tests so far indicate no brain cancer. Maybe the doctor can tell us the name of a good Indian restaurant where we can get a bite after. Jack, please. She calls me Jack. I'm her dad. She calls me Jack. Why, why, why don't we try a version of Papa Bear? Why don't we try listening to the doctor? Fine. What's with the, uh, the Limburgs? The Lymph notes, yes. Perhaps you could see better if you removed your sunglasses. How'd you know? I, I don't understand. We're invisible. When he's wearing his sunglasses indoors, we have to pretend he's invisible. Theoretically, you can't tell him to take them off because you can't see him. Right. Well, since I can hear your voice, Mr. Moorhead, but I can't see you, I have to assume you're wearing your invisible glasses and therefore request you remove them so we can discuss the treatment options for your cancer. Wow, there you are. Ha. Great. It's 
okay to be scared. But I'm not. I have my honey bunny here. You're here. Jack. I told you, call me Papa Bear. Jack, I'm serious. I don't have many left. You know how I hate to waste. I love you, princess. Promise me you'll stay with me? Till the end? Then you have to do everything possible to beat this. All right. Guess I'll switch to ultralights. No. It means you have to quit. For good this time. For all the nicotine starved children in Africa. Twenty-four fifty. What? Twenty-four dollars and fifty cents for parking? <sighs> That's what I said, sir. Aw, oh, why you gotta do a brother like that? Well, I was just getting my lung cancer test results, which were positive. I have cancer, and they didn't validate my ticket. Can't you help me out? There is no validation, so. No, dig no. this, dig this, Superfly. I got a year to three years to live. Just just help me out. Dad, please, just pay so we can go home. You want to yeah. give me 25 bucks for parking? Hell no. Well, then zip it. Seriously, what can you do for me? I mean, if you buy something at the gift shop, we validate in there. Really? Huh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Thank you for your patience. Relax, buddy, relax. Sorry, I'm cancer, so I'm sorry. Here you go. Thank you, my brother. Ah! Ooh, Jiminy Crickets. I forgot to ask the Punjabi doctor where we could eat. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Let's go. No, not those. Uh, Athena, we don't have all day. I told you, we're only eating organic from here on out, okay? Yeah, I forgot how much you like to spend my dough. Ah, a banana. Tastes like a banana. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, Athena. for the main course. This is the main course. Well, I guess what I mean is then what are we having for our entree? What? But this is an entree salad. There's chicken, grilled zucchini, onions, peppers. Yeah. Look, we got everything in here. We got radishes. That's what we have for dessert. Want. Want some real food? Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Daddy? Yeah? Do you know where my orange marker is? How would I know that? Uh, why would I have any idea where your orange marker is? I don't know. Well, then why are you asking me? No. All right. All right. I'll be right back. And I'm hungry now.
a salad. Here. Eat that. I'll be right back. Hi, I just had a missed call from this number. Hey. Who is this? It's Brian. Who? Brian. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I meet a lot of people. Uh, Brian, it doesn't ring any bells. From the other night, the one who heard the message from your dad. Wait, did I give you my number? Is this a bad time? Listen, I can't f you, all right? I'm, I'm out of town for a while. No, no, I wasn't calling for... I just... I just wanted to check up on you. Oh, wait, I get it. Well, you get off on rescuing damsels in distress, is that it? What? No, I do not get off on whatever you just said. I just... Wait, I gotta go. <laughs> You're smoking now? You're like four. Six and a half. Yes. Yes, you're six and a half. Yes, you are. Come here. Come here. You do not want to start smoking now. Believe me, that is not what you want. Quick, mm. honey bunny, stop. Seriously. You're mean. I'm not. To daddy, you are. Yeah, well, daddy doesn't always behave the way a daddy should. Yes, he does. <laughs> well, if you can't see that, you totally drank the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid's for colored. Great. Now he's turning you into a racist, too. Oh, Listen. what? Listen, there's daddy's world, and then there's the real world. Is the real world L.A.? Bailey's over three ice cubes. Why? Because that's what it recommended on the back of the bottle. Why are you still awake? I wanna listen with you. No, no kid, back to bed, go. But I don't wanna- Come on, go on, back to bed. But I don't want to. Say goodnight, Moon. But I don't wanna go to bed. I'm gonna count to three. One. Two. Good night, kittens. Good night, mittens. I say good night to the boys. Good night, Miles. Good night, BB. Good night, Coltrane. Good girl. Good night, princess. Well, 
you can expect all sorts of things. Uh, lack of appetite, lethargy, hair loss, loss of bowel movement, um, dry mouth, difficulty swallowing. It's important that he take a rest when he needs to feel rested. Here's a pamphlet from the uh, Lung Cancer Alliance. Thank you. Did you have any other questions? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how long does the first cycle of chemo last? It's six weeks. He'll come in for five-hour treatments, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Then we check to see if the cancer spread to assess whether or not he needs another six-week course. I'd like to make an announcement to everybody. I have officially quit smoking. Oh, well, I think we would all agree that that's a positive step. Um, have you noticed anything different since you quit? I have. Boners. First thing in the morning, as soon as I get up, Hard as a rock boner. Hasn't happened to me in years. What's that about? Um, well, the blood flow starts to build back up. Oh, 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 wait, wait, I got another question. Does cancer, would that allow me to get handicapped parking? Um. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. No, I'm, I'm not. Oh, I think she's here. Who is that? Well, I didn't make that much food. Hey. hey. Athena? This is Seashell. Seashell, this is my daughter, Athena. Hello, Athena. Mm -hmm. Seashell. Actually, it's pronounced Seashell. But Jackie here can call me whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're still paying women to have with you. Well, I don't pay women to have with me. I pay them to leave. Yeah. Athena, I could die any day now. You want to deprive me of my final experience? You are a piece of work, you know that? Don't be such a square. Marriage is just a socially acceptable form of is illegal. When you marry a woman, you take a vow to pay for her. She takes a vow to f you. The problem comes when she doesn't hold up her end of the bargain. Here, I can't open this. Here. What is this? Oh, dude, are you for real? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm not your dude. Call me a version of Daddy O or Papa Bear. Capiche? You can't even open the lid. Do you honestly think this is a good idea? Because I got something wrong with my hand here, but it has nothing to do with the cancer. Right, look, I haven't lost a hair on my head. It's been a week, okay? And not everyone loses their hair from chemo. There's one left. You know how I hate to waste. One pill is not gonna kill me. Athena. Don't you know the flaccid children in Africa. <laughs> Come on, help an old guy out. Here. Please. Come on. Come on. I hear you. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. Wow. Was that hard? It will be now. Oh. Come here, Seashell. Oh. You just sit here. Okay. Go. Thank you. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm praying. Sweet job. My father doesn't pray. He's an atheist. Well, that's all fine, but in the midst of all the craziness in the world, we got to remember to be grateful for our blessings. Grateful for what? Well, for one thing, I think it's something that you're back here with your daddy, Athena. Thank you, Seashell. And what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for the pharmaceutical company. Thankful that they can make a pill that can help an elderly man with cancer get an erection. All right, that's enough. I'm thankful for Daddy teaching me how to drive, for James Bond, and for my press on the nails. Oh, and hugs. No, oh, you know what? If you'll excuse me, Father, it seems that I've suddenly lost my appetite. Now I know why alligators eat their young. <laughs>
feelings will just keep getting tighter, don't you? Mm -hmm. I've been on the paleo for the last year. That elation. All right, I'm on that Snickers diet. Oh, <laughs> look at you, you're glowing. Really? Thanks, thanks. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't sit, 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 sit. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So, how's the dancing? It's, um, I don't know, it's, um, well, I don't want to jinx it. Do you want a beer? It was some wine there? They have some pretty good wine here. Ah. So, why are you home? I'm just visiting. Oh. Well, what are you guys doing here, together? I didn't tell you. I'm the automatic plus one these days. Mm. Now, do you have to go to the bathroom? Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Okay, well, we would bring you along if we could, baby. You know what? It is the only place you don't get an automatic plus one. Oh, please with that, all oh, right? Because not everything is about you. <laughs> what the are you were dating before? The, um... What was his name? The, uh, the Mike guy. What happened to him? Uh, first of all, it was Mitch. And if you really must know, it was a Jew. So? You know I love the Jews. I do love the Jews. Don't get me wrong, I love the Jews. But Mitch was very Jewish. I mean, like, he told me that the only way we'd get married is if I got converted. And something about that just, I don't know, did not sit right with me. So wait, you come home, and the only non-Jew you could find happened to be my husband's sweetheart? Your sweetheart? OK, uh -huh. you, you're delusional, right? You know that, right? Mm -hmm. He liked you for like a minute when we were 17. And honey, let's be real. You broke up with him. You left. Shoot, you haven't emailed or called me in God knows how long. And all I know is that it was long enough for this shit to go down and you not have a clue. So what are you doing home, Athena? Well, can you pass me the toilet paper, please? And not so you tell me what you're doing home. Ah! Wait, he makes you happy? Wes, you were happy with him? Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I really am. If I thought you gave a I would have made it a point to tell you. You're at least going to invite me to the wedding, though, right? Are you going to come back for the wedding? I will come back for the oh. wedding, okay? Please, pass me some toilet paper. doesn't know, all right? And I cannot tell him before the first trimester because then he gets like, and you know, and his mom, oh, God, God, God. Wait, 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 stop. Are we talking about the guy who makes you quote, unquote, happy? Okay, ya basta. Dímelo, ¿por qué estás aquí? Háblame. I don't hear anything. So if anybody asks, just tell them that your mother's dead. That's why you don't have a mother. But you have the best dad in the world, so it's okay. So mommy's in heaven? <sighs> Heaven's a bunch of b kid. Trust me. Some very, very smart people invented heaven to sell cream cheese and toilet paper. What happens when you die? I don't. See? Look. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. You're stuck with me, baby. Daddy, have you found my orange marker yet? 
Come here, let me impart some wisdom on you, daughter. Okay? Sometimes in life, people lose things. You, for example, you lost your orange marker. Now, I'm sure this cute peanut-sized brain of yours doesn't believe that you truly lost the orange marker, only that you can't find it, which is why you keep asking Daddy if he's found it. But there's a very strong probability that you're never going to see that orange marker again. It's gone. You understand? I went to Costco, then I went to a deli, got you a pastrami sandwich right here. Uh, went to Bed Bath & Beyond, then I went to a great thrift store, and look at this, look at that. It's a pillow on one side, desk on the other. Isn't that unbelievable? That's unbelievable. Oh, 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 wait, you see this? The best part. Resistance or whatever that is. Here we go. A hot plate. Isn't that great? Now you can cook for us. No more salads. Well, salads, but just not as many. But what's wrong with the stove? <laughs> the repair guy said it was broken, said I needed a new one, and those guys are always trying to gouge you, so I got this instead. Look at that. Look at that. Good as new. Good as new. Hey, hey, you. No more vitamins. Look at uh, oh, oh, what is it, Dad? What did you get? Well, glad you asked. I got some weights, because now I can fulfill my lifelong ambition of being a weightlifter, too. Ooh. Ooh. Am I? No, sorry, no, no, no. It's just, it's just me here. Um, I am all ears. What? So I got through to the next round. Uh, okay. Um, the second round is the final round. That is, um, that is good news. That soon? No, 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 no. no. That is, um, that is not a problem. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Okay, see you in two weeks. See who in two weeks? Yeah, but it's your dad. <laughs> I wonder why my dad even had me. It's not like he was ready to be a father. That's it right there. Can you see it? It's the size of a grape. Have you noticed how our culture never celebrates death or divorce? Okay, excuse me, this is not about you. This is about me and my baby and we'd like a little attention from Auntie Athena. Look, I have a grape. Look at that. You can't see it, can you? <laughs> no. Come on, this is like one of those magic eye thingies. You know I could never do those. 
Hey, if you don't want to give up your life, why'd you come back? Because he asked me to. Because he's your dad. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. It's time to go. Uh, what time is it? Time to go, Daddy. You're supposed to be here at one o'clock. Sorry, Where were you? I, I'm. Well, I'm here now. Let's answer the question. Calm down. Are you okay? I'm fine. Where the hell were you? I asked you a question. Where were you? What do you want me to say? Why were you late? The parking lot was filled with a bunch of mooks there. Is that a good enough answer for you? You never have time for anything. The only thing you haven't been late for is your period. Jesus. Why do you always make me feel like for the stupidest things? I was 10 minutes late. Big deal. I dropped my whole goddamn life to come take care of Why you. Why do I make you feel like The only person going to make you shit. feel anything is your self. Give me the keys. I'm driving. Boy, sure Give me the good idea. You don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. I'm the boss. You're the employee. As a matter of fact, from now on, you call me boss. Now give me the keys. You're a stupid little girl who doesn't know a thing. You don't know how to drive, you don't know how to be on time, you don't know how to find parking, and you sure as don't know how to dance or else you'd have a job by now. They're having chemo for five hours. Tell me not to live my life. The best thing to do is just try to be strong. Push my heart out of the way. I can't. What's the matter? What's the wrong? The tooth fairy doesn't like me. What? I lost a tooth, so I put it under my pillow. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You lost a tooth? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't the tooth fairy give me money? Well, maybe last night was her night off. No. Well, maybe a lot of kids lost her tooth yesterday, and, she, you know, she couldn't get to everybody's house on time. That's all. But you said that when you lose a tooth, you put it under your pillow, and the tooth fairy comes into your room and takes it and gives it to all little babies who don't have teeth yet. Yeah, I did say that. All right. I'm going to level with you, kid. Every time, every time a kid puts the tooth under the pillow, their mom or their dad, they come in the room at night and the exchange, they swap the tooth for money. What? Yeah, it's, it's, I remember like, like how the Wizard of Oz was really this little old man behind a curtain? Never saw it. We never watched the Wizard of Oz? Yes, we, no. Oh, wow, well, I'm slipping. You, I know you've seen this one. You know how from Russia with love, right, uh, Tatiana Romanova, right, she meets James in Istanbul to return the lector to England, but only you find out the whole thing was a trap? It's like that. That's, that, that's how it is. The, the, the tooth fairy, life, the marriage. You think something is one way, only to learn that, it, that it's something entirely different. You understand what I'm saying? It's just, you do or you don't? I know something that's you're gonna understand. I, I don't know how many teeth you've lost. But this.
this should cover it. Do you know the rule about not calling girls who sleep with you the first night you meet them? Girl, you know what they say about rules. <laughs> what, that they're made to be broken? Oh, yeah. So, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. How's your dad? Uh, uh still very much himself. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm always around, you know, if you ever want to shoot the or just, you know, I'm here for you. Hey, Brian, I, uh, I have to go. Hey, you see the moon? Uh, yes. Yeah, I can see it. You see that halo? No, no halo. Always found that funny. Is that two people can be looking at the same sky on the same night and see two different versions of the same thing. Hey, Brian. Yeah? Thanks for calling. Hey, Athena. Hang in there. Okay. Good night. I'm here to pick up my father, Jack Moorhead. Can you spell the last name, please? M-O-R-E-H-E-A-D. Dr. Oh. Halper? Please come to the nurse's station. Doctor Halper, to the nurse's station, please.
The doctor will be right with you. What do you mean by an adverse reaction? The chemo is supposed to make him better, not worse. Some people get worse before they get better. Chemo is a shock to the system. Different systems handle that shock very differently. Yeah, well, how did his handle it? Not well. He was disoriented, very irritable. He started cursing. And <laughs> He's always like that. He pulled the IV out of his arm and held it to a nurse's neck. Does he always do that? We sedated him, and then his blood pressure dropped considerably. You just want to take some precautions, run a few tests, make sure everything checks out. Trust me, he'll be out in two days, maybe three. OK, well, trust me, you'll want him out after two. Or keep it open. Keep it open. Is he taken? It's all yours. You know, I've never been very good at playing it cool or whatever, so um, well, I'm just going to go right ahead and tell you why I'm here. But you mean to tell me you're not a Jehovah's Witness? Um, what did you say your name was? Well, let's not task ourselves with the silly chore of trying to remember each other's name now. So you're not going to tell me your name? Well, I prefer we go to a motel. The bathroom's fine. And uh, say our goodbyes and be on our merry way. <laughs> Aren't you Dickens used to meeting girls they'll never have to see or talk to you again? Listen, darling, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to politely decline. I got a friend who could get you some morphine. You could buy a boat, and we could sail all around the world till the pain got too bad. You know, it wasn't the cancer that landed me here. It was the chemo. That's what got me. The medical profession ain't nothing but a bunch of to do whatever the insurance companies tell them to do. It hit me. No, 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 with this. Ooh, Chucky. You better watch yourself, baby. You're in the hospital. Come here and slap my <laughs> what the cat dragged in. Hello, Athena. Hi, Athena. Hello, Zisha. Oh. You know, I'm not an invalid. Oh, just say thank you. No. Shh. This is the best part. Hey, it's by who loved me. Yeah. I played James Bond in this. Oh, please. Roger Moore. Duh. Yeah, yeah, that was too easy. Everybody knows that. Uh, who played Agent Triple X? Barbara. Barbara Bach. Uh huh. Huh? Very good. Huh? Now, what kind of gun was she using? Which one? At the last scene against James, what was the gun that she had? Ooh, that's a hard one. 
Started with a W. V. The one for PPK. Ah, it's my girl. What a good girl. Only girl in her class who could identify firearms. Can't wait to eat something other than tasteless dinner rolls and, and jello with the texture of butter. It's horrible. Hey, 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 watch it, watch it. I got cancer here. Want the cancer to get me, not you. Want someone to know you got a small Johnson? Drive, Drive that, that car. car. Very good. Uh, Dad, there, there's something that I need to talk to you about. Dad, wow. I've been promoted. Daddy, listen, I, I got a call, and but there's something that I want to talk to you. Wait there. Wait there. Jack, I swear I'll be back. Jack, I swear. No, I just got out of the hospital. I'm driving. Like I was saying, Dad, um, there's something that I really Dina, need to talk to you about. I just got out of the hospital. Whatever it is, can it wait? You want some more ice chips? A uh, pacifier. What? <clears throat> I want you to go down to the drugstore and get me a pacifier. Are you serious? Go on. Oh, OK. Uh, wait. Did you take my sunglasses? Look at that. Oh, thank you. Putting them up there like that. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I help you find something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for a pacifier. All right. Uh, how old is your baby? 60. No, wait a minute. I gotta go use the job. Leave me be, Fine. Athena. Fine. Don't just stand there, help me up. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Go. No, 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 we cannot do. These are his favorite pants. Jack Moorhead, he said that you know him, that you take care of it. Very bad, not clean, very bad, I'm gonna throw away. No, but um, he sent me here to make sure. No, it will go over uh, the customer closing. I'm not throwing them away. I'm my favorite pair. You have a closet full of at least 14 identical pairs. I like those. Those are the favorite ones. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Wash them by hand. Excuse me? It's just a little Dina. No, it's a lot, actually. And, uh, well, wait a minute. Forgive me for not wanting my father's 
on my hands all week. Do you know how many times I had your on my hands? Oh, what? Oh, my God. What? When I was a baby? All the time. For years on end. This is slightly different. You know what? You're such a princess. I raised you better than this. See, taste, or smell my lunch. But does this mean your mouth is better now? I expect it at three o'clock. Goodbye. Yes, boss. You came. Of course. You called and begged. No, oh, please. I didn't beg. I know. I'm sorry. You just butt dialed me and casually asked. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. You can do that. Okay, that's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's that. I don't know what that is. Let's go. Okay. How was your flight? It was long. It was long, but I'm very happy that you came to pick me up. Not have that much time after you, my Thank darling. You very much. Not have that much time to yeah, clean up, so don't judge me, please. No, no judgment. You've been here before, so just make yourself at home. Sorry, if you come back, I promise it will be different. I promise, Athena. I'll get a nurse. I, 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 I'll, I'll be nice, whatever you say. I quit smoking. Finito. I 
funny. Goddess of wisdom. I can't die alone. Focus! Come on, Athena! Okay, now, God damn it, if you're gonna be this distracted now, what am I gonna expect in rehearsal? Let's go! It up. Oh. Whosever phone is ringing, please turn it off now. People, please keep your personal belongings in your lockers. Thank you. There you go. Hold it up. I have made you some delicious oatmeal. Come on, Daddy, I'm back. It is hot and it might burn your tongue. Daddy, I'm here. Jack. 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 Excuse me, miss, is this your... He's my father. Do you have power of attorney? Yes. Do you want us to start his heart if it stops beating? Excuse me? Right now, your father's hooked up to a machine that's breathing for him. His heart is still beating on its own, but it will stop soon. And when it does, do you want us to restart it for him? Yes. We have to crack his ribs and press on his chest with all our might to restart the heart. Crack his ribs, then? No, you don't understand. No, right? you don't understand. If his heart stops, crack his ribs. Fine. As you can see in the brochure, we, we have a large selection. Mm -hmm. You were his daughter. I am his daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, but what I meant to ask is he has no spouse? Nope. No, I'm never married. What about your mother? What about my mother? Well, where is she? I... I like to think she took the Thelma and Louise route, and uh, her spirit is just floating somewhere over the Grand Canyon. Huh. No older siblings? No other um, legal guardian to help you with all of this? I'm my legal guardian. That one.
can I tell them that he took a job selling scrap metal instead of following his dreams of playing jazz saxophone? Could I tell them that he didn't fight for his life and take it seriously? Didn't think about how his dying would affect those he left behind? How about how he's handicapped me in virtually every relationship I attempt with a member of the opposite sex? Was I allowed to tell them the truth? Romance is mush, stifling those who strive. I'll live a lush life in some small dive. Whoever feels it deepest wins. Remember the Alamo. Please put all wet food in the garbage disposal. I am sensitive to the smell of rotting food. Don't let the same dog bite you twice. Nice onions. Mm. Oh, you want them? I don't know what to do with all this. You should keep them. Yeah. Well, maybe you can tell me everything I should keep and what I'm allowed to throw out. Sorry too. You should come over for dinner before you go. Not like that. Yeah, sure. We're always here for you. All three of us.
I suppose you think I'm a massive for not returning any real calls or texts. I can take a hint. There's no hint. I had to go back to Florida. That's your dad okay? What are you doing this Friday? Uh, you know, hang out with my boys, go clubbing. I'm clubbing. That kind of thing. What about you? Coming over to your place. Oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath. No, I'm being serious. How's eight? Uh, I'll have to check with my boys. Of course. But, uh, eight probably works. Yeah. Okay. Well, text me your address. I'll do that right now. I mean, after I finish my... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, I'm up to like four miles. I, I got it. What's this? Fine marathon. Hey, how do I look? Like a All right, fine. I'm gonna be back in two hours tops, okay? All right, my lady, have a seat. Brian, this isn't necessary. I know it's not necessary, but when was the last time someone made you a home-cooked meal? Mm. Huh? Now, I was not sure if you ate meat or not, because, you know, all you actresses are vegan. But I'm not an actress. Hello. Joking. She looks like you, her mom. Yeah, I think the baldness really accentuates our similarities. Careful, I only have three more bottles. <laughs> so, uh, you were gonna tell me what you really do for work? Athena, I know how hard of a time this must be for you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. Well, it's just because your mom died of cancer, you think that you and I are the same somehow. Is that it? What? The photo. Are you not exactly hiding the fact that she had chemo? My mom didn't have chemo. I did. 
My family shaved their heads when I started losing my hair. You're not the only one in the world that's been affected by this shit. Listen, I'm not, I'm not good at this. What's that, eating or talking? This, all right, all this. No, but Athena, you know, I'm just trying to get to know you. I should go. Oh, come on. I should go. No, 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 no. come on. You're a little dramatic. No, you know what? I don't do the whole boyfriend, girlfriend thing. I'm gonna leave that with you. What about the whole grown up talking to another grown up over dinner thing? Do you do that? Look, I didn't come here for you to whine and dine me and be all nice to me and tell me that everyone has cancer. No, you just came here for a little empty, meaningless sex. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. What kind of fag turns down a half-naked girl in his living room? The kind that knows you can't keep away your pain. My pain? Oh my God. Well, what are you now, my shrink? Oh, now come on. We both know that you don't have a therapist. Oh, what is that? It's a souffle. I made it for dessert. Jack, you know what to do. Daddy. I just wanted to say that I'm so sorry. And yet I am so sorry for everything.
I'm sorry, Max. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Welcome back. baby. Paul Johnson, drive that car. Very good. Honey Bunny, got us some wisdom. Well, what are we having, Honey Bunny? See, Honey Bunny. Ah, uh, honey. Athena. That that orange marker is gone. Forever. You're never gonna see it again. And that's okay. Cause I... 